Hello, everyone. Um, so I'm tr trying to today uh, give you a new lecture on Mulan. Yes, that's right, Mulan, a global sensation. All right, so let me try this by sharing my screen with, let's see if I can do this, share screen. Let's see if that's possible. And can I share my screen and can I play it? Share screen. Let's see, nope, not that one. Sorry, bear with me. Nope, not that one either. Uh, share screen, let's see if this works. Close the gates! Six of our northern cities have fallen in a coordinated attack. Their leader fights alongside a witch. Crush these murderers, your majesty. Every family must contribute one man to fight. You're a war hero. You've already made many great sacrifices. My father cannot fight. So I will take his place. The northern invaders will kill her. If I expose her power, all people will kill her. When we take the Imperial City, I will take revenge for my father. What is your name, soldier? Hua Jun, Commander. Son of Hua Zhou. We will now take the oath of the warrior. Loyal. Something you're not. Yet here I stand. Proof that there is a place for people like us. A girl threatens all plans. I wonder. All right, looks great. Uh, I know I'll be there the first day uh, after this is over. Okay, let me stop the share. Here's the little Milan. <laughs> um, okay, so oh, oh, let me just get out of here. Let's see. All right, uh, I hope this is working uh, for video. All right. Um, so today we're going to talk about Mulan, and we're going to talk about uh, hashtag Make Mulan Right, which is actually from this book, uh, and it is chapter, what is it, Dr. Moana, chapter nine, okay, so chapter nine, so I, I uh, scanned it for you, you watched, so you have it, you don't have to pay, um, so let's share, and let's go over this very world-renowned, um, uh, world-renowned, um, kind of uh, cartoon, okay? All right, so let me get myself out of here. Okay, let me get myself out of here. Oh, gosh, I have this go here. All right, how do I? All right, there, okay. Try my best, okay? All right, so hopefully I'm out and not showing. Um, all right, let's see how I do this. Okay, now how do I, I want to just show this as a view, as a... Hmm. Now I'm wondering, how do I, oh, usually there's a little dot for me to show, uh, view, normal, no, view, sort of, nope, I don't want to do that, view, present, oh, nope, no. ah, okay, oh, okay, so now it worked. All right, so make Mulan right, retracing the genealogy of Mulan from ancient Chinese tale to Disney classic, okay. All right, so the legendary story of Mulan, a female Chinese warrior, originated for the poem, The Ballad of uh, Mulan. We don't know who the author is because it was anonymous, so it's quite old, hundreds of years old. And so that's actually, um, Disney kind of remade 
a cartoon based on this ancient, ancient, well-known, everyone in China knows about this poem, uh, uh, well-known in China. So here, and the story is well-known. So if you've seen the Disney, and raise your hand if you've seen the Disney uh, cartoon, uh, Hua Mulan is, uh, father was actually uh, required to go in the military to fight against the Huns. That's historically not accurate. And so what happened was he could not do it. So she takes his place and she masquerades as a man. Okay. She cross dresses. So here, um, you know, the original Mulan, uh, it was a, bit, a huge box office success, not in China, we'll talk about that later. But there was actually a kind of a big issue with uh, the live action Mulan that you just saw uh, the clip of, and there was actually a hashtag called Make Mulan Right. And one of the things that they had in that uh, Twitter hashtag was the idea of yellow face when you have white people acting like they're Asian, and also the white savior narrative where someone white actually saves all of China or Japan, okay? So this had a lot of controversy in general. Mulan has like always had, I don't know why, it just attracts a lot of controversy. And from the cartoon times, if you remember, you saw this as a kid, you're probably a sixth grader. Um, you probably don't remember this, and maybe your parents do. Mike Pence, our current VP, uh, actually wrote an op-ed objecting to the cartoon, and he called it liberal propaganda. He said that the cartoon actually pushes the idea that women should go into the military. And so, yeah, so you have controversy from even not just the live action, which they had the make Mulan right, but even the cartoon got a lot of, um, you know, pushback. So I wanna talk a little bit why Mulan was not popular in China, okay? You can pause it now, write down like five things why you think it was not popular and how it was it not popular, okay? Well, and unpause. One of the things is uh, the idea of false feminism or post-feminism or third world feminism or Chinese feminism or post-post-post-feminism, uh, okay? So a lot of Chinese intellectuals, women, were stating that they did not think that uh, Mulan was an, uh, a good feminist icon, and it, it, it's really an idea of Western feminism, which is white feminism, and there's a lot of critique and critical race theory, uh, a lot of people write about it, and they said that this type of feminism does not represent China, so that's one of the critiques, okay? Another critique is imperialism. You're taking in like an ancient Chinese or indigenous Chinese or ethnic uh, minority Chinese a tale, and you're like, kind of Disneyifying it, like Americanizing it. I mean, it's basically kind of like a Disney cartoon. I mean, it literally is a Disney cartoon. And so people found it imperialistic. You're taking their idea, their ancient poem, and you're like making it into a cartoon, which I found delightful, but um, so cute, Mushu and the cricket. But, you know, for other people who grew up with this ancient tale, this could be like very offensive to them culturally. So one of the things that they objected to was this idea of yellow face which is when a Caucasian person masquerades as an Asian person. So here you have Scarlett Johansson, she's masquerading as an Asian person in uh, Ghost in the Shell. Here you have Kung Fu by David Carradine, and he is uh, taping his eyes back to look Asian. Um, you know, the funny thing is Bruce Lee was uh, considered for this role, but they thought he was too Asian. And so instead they completely hired a, a Caucasian person, Angle, American to play a Chinese person, just strange. And then there's also uh, Mickey Rooney, one of the most kind of uh, embarrassingly racist uh, ideas of someone Asian. They put him buck teeth, they taped his eyes. Uh, of course, uh, the white savior and yellow face is kind of like Tom Cruise where the last samurai is someone Anglo-American? Okay, and also he's the one that saves Japan. Again, these are instances that are very uh, problematic. So how is she different from the traditional Mulan story? And we talked about it's actually a poem, 100 year old. Uh, and actually the original poem really points to someone that's non-Han. Right now we have 1.4 billion people in China, over 56 ethnicities and sub-ethnicities. And we're talking about millions of these ethnicities. And so the main ethnicity is Han. 
And so uh, Mulan is kind of depicted as a Han, right? Light skin, going against the Huns. But in reality, probably the real Mulan themselves was not Han, right? So that's a kind of inaccuracy. Also, it's very like very like slapping people in the face, particularly Chinese people from mainland. It's a patriarch story. It's about being feel piety. It's about serving your family, serving your country, serving your father, right? So it's not patriotic because it's very insulting. Also, it's essentially the movie is kind of like a, another Disney teenager, right, that they have. And she's not really a typical, even typical, t um, in some sense, she's not a typical uh, Disney princess, but in other senses, she really is a, just a typical uh, uh, t uh, uh, princess, okay? Also, this is a tale that's well-known, very well-known in China and beloved. And so you're taking someone else's culture, well-known, beloved poem that's used in a very patriarch sense, and you're trying to transform it into a cartoon, which people, and there's, you know, of course, there's no Mushu or Cricket, um, no matter how funny they are, uh, in the real Mulan. So one of the things that people object to in the hashtag make Mulan right was they leaked, there was a leak of an early script for the new kind of, you just saw the new kind of uh, film Mulan uh, live action. And one of the scripts was they said that a middle aged European man in his late thirties was going to marry or say Mulan, which was a 13, 14 year old girl. So obviously just, in terms of age difference, middle age and child, it sounds and is terrible, right? Now, of course, it kind of goes into this yellow face, a white savior of China. I have to say this was going to be a huge failure, okay? Uh, and so that was, that was actually legitimately leaked. And so on Twitter, if you want to look now, there's a hashtag called Make Mulan Right. Lots of people, like 18 million rising. It's Asian American kind of... Um, group that uh, fights for fair representation was objecting to this. And so, yeah, I, I really uh, suggest you go on Twitter right now and hashtag make Mulan right. And so, you know, 18 million rising did a Twitter campaign and 19,000 people signed the petition. Okay. That no, uh, Mulan is not going to be like a 15 year old saved by an Anglo American and um, Anglo American is not going to save China. Okay. And so they wanted basically Asian American writers, Asian American directors, Asian American, everything or Asian. And yeah, so it was a really huge thing. And then eventually this kind of got a lot of flack into Disney It really forced Disney to respond. And they said, no, <sighs> the characters Mulan will be Chinese. Okay. <laughs> and the primary characters will be Chinese. And so that was a huge thing. You know, people are thinking about the great wall, right? Or I don't think, was anyone Asian in that movie? Huh. Okay. And so it's a timeless tale, guys. It's, there's something about Mulan that attracts so many people. Of course, the, you know, 20, 60, 66% of the world's Asian. So yes, the majority of people are Asian, but, and 18 to 23% of uh, humans are Chinese, but there's something like timeless transnational about it that really attracts people around the world. And I think this movie will be all, all constantly remade over and over and over again by different countries, by uh, different nations, uh, nation states, and, and it'll, be, it'll actually always attract a boycott, a debate, and have people will have a lot of opinions on these future renditions, okay? And there's just something about this tale. Maybe it's a human universal to dedicate yourself to uh, to your family, to take care of your father, to fight for your country. There's something about it's timeless, but also so controversial because people like love it so much and they want to get it right. Okay, so that's what the chapter is about. And you know, we talked about how there was a boycott, right? So there's a new actual. I want to end it. There was a new controversy. The live action now has not come out yet because of you know COVID uh, nineteen. Uh, that's closed all the movie theaters around the world. But apparently, the Mulan actress uh, uh, who voices Mulan um, supported the Hong Kong police amid protests, which actually she sparked a lot of protest. Um, as, pro as protesters fight for democracy, Liu Yi Fei, a naturalized American citizen, wrote on the Chinese uh, social platform Weibo, I support the Hong Kong police. You can all attack me now. 
what a shame for Hong Kong. Okay, so again, you know, this is especially if you're interested in Hong Kong history, there's an umbrella movement going on right now, the democracy movement, and you know, all these extraditions that they're fighting against from mainland China. So it's a huge thing. I don't know why she did this. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the Wonder Woman act, uh, actress who said she supported the Israeli um, army. You know, I think she was the Israeli army. Uh, and, uh, and so that was also very controversial, which led to another point called a Wonder Woman. Okay. So again, right now, um, this is a huge issue. And so now there's a hashtag boycott Mulan because uh, they said that she's supporting the Hong Kong police who people in Hong Kong view as uh, being uh, overly uh, harsh with the Hong Kong protesters for democracy. Okay. So again, this is the last slide. If you have any questions, I would love to hear it. Um, who's a Mulan fan? <laughs> uh, I think a lot of us are. Okay. So anyway, thanks for coming to this and I hope you enjoy this video.